For the first time in Vermont history, same-day registration was offered for voters during a national election. This was especially meaningful for Burlington's large student population who got a last-minute opportunity to register and vote. It was extremely, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be because this is my first time voting and I, I didn't feel like I was overwhelmed. It felt like it was very cut and paste, like put down your name, put down your information, all right, you're good to go, go vote. Polling locations set up registration tables right next to voting booths. I think it was pretty streamlined. Um, it was very, very easy to do. It took less than five minutes. The 2014 midterms in Vermont saw 24% fewer voters than the 2016 presidential election. State election officials aimed to close that gap by making voting more accessible. Vermont Secretary of State Jim Condos reported over 477,000 Vermonters were registered to vote by late September. That number is only expected to increase with same-day registration for a national election. At their election night party, some Democrats viewed same-day registration as a success. Congressman Peter Welch compared Vermont to other states with voter restrictions. Where you see in other states like Georgia, uh, where there appear to be active efforts to keep people from voting, make it really difficult, that's terrible. You can't have a democracy where people don't uh, have easy access to express their view. Early estimates show the midterms had a 58% voter turnout, only 6% less than the last presidential election. Perhaps one indication same-day registration had an impact. In Burlington, I'm Luke Marcheski.